Hello and welcome to this video, Richard Okiri Jr. here. So I want to show you how to connect your Facebook pixel to your MailChimp landing page. So when you have finished creating your MailChimp landing page to connect your pixel, what you do is to go to your Facebook, click on, go to all tools and go to events manager. So while that is opening, go to your MailChimp. Once you have logged in, under campaigns, all campaigns, go to all campaigns, scroll down to make sure you're under landing pages so that you see your landing pages. Then this is the landing page that you have here. So what you do is to um, click on edit, this edit button here. So once this opens, the events manager, go to the events and copy, go to the data source. These are your data sources. You have the tile visuals, you have TD Africa, but I'll copy this. Um, copy the ID here and then go to uh, your landing page, scroll down on that settings and tracking, click on edit. Make sure you tick this track with Metapixel, then click on use an existing pixel and then paste that ID here. That's your Metapixel ID. So once it is pasted here, then the next thing that you will do is give it like a, a minute. If you want to be sure that it is connected, that your Metapixel is working, you can up, um, download um, what I call, it's called Metapixel Helper. So I have it here, Metapixel Helper. is an extension you add to your, your um, browser that shows you, tells you whether a page is has whether a page has Facebook pixel on it, Metapixel on it or not. So you can just go to Google um, Web Store, search for it on Google. Once it opens, click on this. <clears throat> okay. So once it opens, <clears throat> you just search for Metapixel Helper. Click on enter. So here it is. So I'll just click on install, install it to your browser. You might need to restart your browser. <clears throat> Immediately you install it, just restart your browser so that it will take effect. This icon will start showing here. So let's open the page now after we have inserted the Metapixel ID. So we'll right click on the MailChimp landing page link and open it. So once it opens, you can see that it is showing me this here that means uh the two is showing here that means there are two pixels here there's one pixel found on mailchimp and is connected so the next thing i need to do now is to create connect events to this landing page so that well, when people click on particular places especially your form your form button it tells facebook can track that person as a registration or as a lead so you have to do that is to open the data source they want the link you copied, they, they not the ID you copied, open the data source on Facebook, on in your Facebook events, and then go to settings, then copy the link of this page. So I'll just copy the link. It's the same thing with this also. You can copy this one. Then go to that, scroll down to from here on Facebook, go to events setup to click on it then paste the link and then say open website so um because i think i've already done this before let me just remove the ones i've done and redo it let me delete delete okay so this is how it's going to open then once it opens this way the first thing you want to track is um this this button because anybody registering will fill this form and then click join now and if they click this button that means they have joined and that person is registered as a lead. So to track this button, you click on track new button. Um, it will highlight this button. You click on it, select event, select lead, and then say the lead, lead means that is the lead. That person is a lead. You can also use complete registration, okay, for this. That means if you are setting up your ad, your event, when you are setting up your ad, is going to be complete registration, not lead for this particular uh, for promoting this particular page or this particular whatever it is you're promoting on this page. So I'd like to use lead, then I'll say confirm. 
Then the other thing I like to track is the visits to this page. So to track visits to this page so that Facebook will keep on tracking visits. Um, okay, so this is done. So the next thing to track the URL, um, the page, I'll click on track URL, and then it will capture this URL. And then I'll click on events, scroll down and track that as view count. Okay, so anybody who visits this page, we'll just track the person as some, a visitor. So it's called view counts. Then I'll click on confirm. And those are the two things that you need to really capture on this part on your landing page. Um, so that once you are done with this, the next thing is go and set up your ad and make sure you, you're setting up your ad for leads and then um, sending them, of course, to this particular page. So that is that on how to do this.